Hey guys, today's video is going to be by myself. If you've watched my last video, you will understand why I'm so sad. I've never laughed at a video so much or even rewatched it just to watch what David was like in it. It is the funniest thing I've done on YouTube since doing one with my sister. Thank you so much again for doing it for me. It was amazing and your feedback for it has been so good. But today it's not about makeup whatsoever. It is about skincare and more specifically, it's about using CBD oil within skincare. What are the benefits for it? What makes it different to any other kind of skincare? And what products you can actually use or find that has it within. So for me today, I'm gonna to be reviewing the MGC CBD and Hyaluronic pH Balance Toner. I have actually used this for about a week. So in my last video, you will see me using, or not me using, but it being applied in a completely unique way, I'll say. The moisturizing day cream for dry and regular skin with SPF. 30. Okay, so disclaimer, I haven't used a toner since maybe two years ago I bought one from Boots, Botanics. It literally, it's just one of those things that I just never really saw the benefit of it. I never, I never wanted to use the pads. Guys, like, you can relate to this hopefully. Like with stubble, the last thing I want to be doing is wiping that on my face in the morning. I get literally bits of fluff, even if I've just freshly shaved, which I have. So it's just always been a kind of a turn off until I've seen this. Obviously there's loads of other ones, a more essence I wanted to try, but I just saw this, it was on offer, I got it from Harvey Nichols. Why not? I literally just thought, you know what, I wanna try it. I have been using it for a week, I absolutely adore it, but I wanted to talk a little bit about the ingredients and I wanna show application, I wanna tell you how it feels, how it smells, everything like that. Also, just to let you know, I have just shaved. I deeply cleansed using the Amora Visa cleansing gel. I used it with my Luna Fofo in pink. The color does not change anything about it, it's just really cute. So if you're interested in looking at that, my last second to last video is reviewing the actual device so make sure to have a little look the link will be down below and i shaved so today if my skin is it feels very very tight it always feels that way after shaving and i'm not used to using uh, one which actually is more of like a cream mousse i've been using a gel one for the past six months from a brand called pure lakes they do a soap free shaving gel which is honestly incredible one of my favorites for daily shaving or every two days whereas the one i've been using this morning is one from the bathhouse it's a men's shaving cream uh, they've changed the formula a few times so this is like the best one they've made i'm hoping it's still that way uh or still available uh, that's definitely better for longer thicker beards because it really helps to sort of soften and dissolve not dissolve you know what i mean like soften the hair follicle that's just to let you know i have nothing on my skin so again it's the normal complaints that I have with it. Yeah, whatever, we don't need to get into it. You watch my videos. And if not, maybe have a look. So we're gonna get right into some of the ingredients, the benefits, so we're gonna get right onto it now. The difference between CBD and hemp oil is the fact that this is extracted from the leaves, stalk, and the flower rather than the seed, which is what hemp oil, uh, how that's extracted. In terms of the benefits or what it's gonna do to you, different to any other ingredient within it, it's gonna help regulate oil production. It's going to reduce acne through that reduction in oil. It contains many nutrients, number one of them being vitamin E. So it is a tocopherol and it's going to help healing the skin. And it can help treat atopic dermatitis through using omega-3 and omega-6, which are rich in fatty acids, which is amazing for kind of cocooning the skin and looking after it. So that's already good enough. That has me sold for this toner. However, it also contains sodium hyaluronic, which is just good. I've mentioned that in my last video when I was reviewing the Blue Diamond Serum. So it's basically hyaluronic acid. It also contains vanilla, planifolia, fruit extract. This is cool. Rich in antioxidants. It soothes burns. And it's also a treatment for acne because it's antibacterial. So that and the CBD oil already, you're having two things which are basically helping to fight, reduce that acne, which is really, really cool. Then, another ingredient is rice protein, so it's near the end of it, but this actually stimulates collagen. It improves skin elasticity. It increases cell regeneration. It reduces hyperpigmentation, good for me. And it tightens the skin and pores, really needed. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about the packaging. It's super matted, feels really nice. It has like a cute, like rosy lavender 
look here. So the directions are, apply a small amount on the desired area in circular motions, allow for full absorption and to be used daily. I've been using this every morning and every night. Caution, to only be used for the purpose it was meant to be used for according to the instructions. I guess it's because people are going to see it has CBD. And maybe pour it up, pour it up, watch more fall out. It says it's made in Europe. CBD and Hyaluronic Facial pH Balancer Balance Toner for regular to dry skin restores the skin to optimal pH level allowing hyaluronic acid to effectively moisturize and tone the skin. The gentle toner is also enriched with high purity cannabidiol. Write it phonetically down in the comments. To support and help the skin appear firmer and younger with reduced wrinkles and a natural fresh glow. Sounds good to me. The ingredients, super clean. Like not a single thing there that I'm like, <gasps> right, let's get it out says the same things. It hasn't got the ingredients on the actual packaging, which I'm kind of disappointed about. And it's usually companies that have things to hide, which this is totally not what this company is about. But it just annoys me when companies do that. Usually it's like really cheaper brands or ones that they just don't want you to know the ingredients with it, which I think is really, really, really disappointing. Like we should be educating people to know what's within it, or at least their friends say, oh, does it have this in it? Or be careful about this ingredient. And then they can look at it and then think, ah, I need to get rid of this. And then recycle the packaging. So that's the only feedback. So if you're watching guys, please put the ingredients on the product. And then basically, I do one pump. One pump is all it takes. It looks like egg white. And then I basically, really unelegant though. Just apply it like this. Okay, so straight off the bat, if you've ever used Ombre Solaire Clear Protect Sun Cream, if it doesn't smell like that to you, well, you probably never used it. It's such a side note, but it literally smells just like that. Super fresh, slightly medicinal, very, very alcohol scented, even though there actually isn't. There's none in. And listen to this. Tacky. I love that feeling. Love, 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 love that feeling. In terms of how it feels, it literally just vanishes. Like, there's no notion to it now. My skin just feels more like mobile. That's the best way of describing it. I am really, really, really enjoying using a toner. I have not noticed any help in terms of my pores. I have to admit, it's only been a week. I should really give it about a month to have a fair review of it. It has definitely helped with my skin hydration, thousand percent, thousand percent. I would secondly say that it is, it's maybe too easy, too early to say it's helped with brightness, but I may say that. I naturally always have a little bit here, which I have to be open about because we all have skin. Duh. And like, we can't all be perfect, even you. I have nothing on my skin and you know what? It feels really comfortable, really fresh. It's say I was going for like, cinema date night like loads of dates in <laughs> that i don't feel like i want to wear like a lot or like with friends yeah in that case doesn't matter honestly to wash my skin get everything off after work throw some of this on throw a nice moisturizer on perfect 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 yeah i just wanted it really short my last one was literally like an episode of coronation street so yeah 30 minutes and no break no break no don't need it. Uh, obviously the revenue would be kind of handy. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Thank you so much for clicking on it. If you are interested in the product, I will do like a link below. If I can find one online, I'll try and find the best price. If not, just write a comment down below and ask me. If you haven't already subscribed yet, please do. If you like content like this, there's gonna be loads more skincare and makeup coming out in the future. I also have some other products that I want to be reviewing and doing my first impressions and unboxing. So please look out for that. So make sure to turn on the notification bell. Also, if you haven't liked a video yet or even this one, smash the like button. It means so much to me. And you know, I'm sat here in my room talking in front of a lens. It is a really, really rewarding thing to be able to have something back. So you're sat, you're comfortable, you hopefully had a cup of tea, nice and chilled. It takes one second to do it and it makes me very, very happy. So please do so if you haven't and have a great day. I will see you in the next video and thank you again for watching. Bye.